Hey everyone, I'm Lewis and welcome to my channel. I want to talk with you guys about the server jumping topic. So I'm going to give you an example as to why it can be uh, bad and, and then I'll give you an example of how it can be good. And this is going to apply on the guild level, not on the player level. So if you're moving out of your uh, server to another server as an individual, just a player, because you're looking for a different type of competition, looking forward to meet with other players, this doesn't apply to you. This video is sp specific about guilds jumping to another server. So the example I want to give both the good and the bad are, are about the same guilds on the same server. And this will, will go as this. So some weeks ago, we had um, we had one of the top guilds in our server invite other guilds into our server. But before I get into that, I will give you a little bit of um, introspective details about about the the guild composition in our server. So we used to have. Um, seven seven top guilds. So for the past I don't know four six months they have been more or less the same guilds. So seven about seven guilds uh, that that were disputing the the guild the gold the gold uh, league. So one of them dropped occasionally to to silver league and switched with the other one in the silver league. And these guilds basically we had. Um, one very very well positioned in the CSW rankings, so in the in the top forties or fifties. Then we had um, another two or three guilds that were around I don't know maybe uh, top top one hundred, top two hundred, top three hundred. And then the, the the other guilds were lower ranked or not ranked. All of these guilds have been traditionally uh, very active, and um, none all of them are native what i mean with native is guilds that i have um, originated in that server so um made of original people from the same original server so we had guilds here that had had been around since the start of the server uh not going to give you details <laughs> on the servers because that would be uh, a bit a little bit privacy invading invading but i can tell you that this the server is more than a year and a half old so you can guess around i don't know a range of servers that that could be fitting for this but that's that's the most i will i will give you as information so we had on, on this server let's say um three three four four older guilds and three other ones that are more more recent so from from the little history that i have gathered and and, and reread the other day we have we have or had one one guild that i mentioned in the top 40s and that was recently added in the later six months or so we had another one that arrived to the server uh, uh, maybe a month to two months ago, maybe a little more because this story is now getting old. And um, and and then we also had another guild that originated from from multiple fusions it, it, it's, a, it's a bit messy story but anyways this is the server composition seven guilds so where do i want to get with this it's been five minutes with talking the point is we had a very stable uh, environment with stable guilds and the problem in the server was mostly trying to to get new talent to recruit people so uh, some guilds occasionally occasionally will we'll lose some some talent because some you know some players w would jump away to another server or they would get inactive or they would outright quit the game that's just how things are some people get tired of a game or 
don't want to spend any more money or they just want to play something else they or they find other servers to play and they jump so that's just normal okay and so it's natural that guilds lose some people and then they have to recruit because they have to fill in the ranks and sometimes the players that you get are not high quality um meaning they're not as strong as the players you already have in your guild meaning maybe they're not as active as the other players in your guild or in the server in general or maybe they're just using the 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 wrong you uh, wrong uh, heroes so that their their um competition is 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 less strong comparing to the others or maybe just they don't care about the game <laughs> and they just kind of play like robots you know <laughs> lots of things you can pick on this so anyways some some sometimes you will not get the the players that you desire that, that's a better way of saying it instead of saying uh, less 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 good or um, interesting players so sometimes you don't get the players the type of players you want and some other players join and and, and unfortunately too I guess for the good and for the bad, you cannot really set like uh, configure the guild to not accept any more players or have a, a queue with moderation of who you want to accept in. That's sad because players do spend emeralds to join a guild, and you should not be spending emeralds if you're getting kicked out. Okay, it doesn't make sense. This is a, a message for Nexters. You need to fix this. You need to have moderation in the guilds to allow or reject a participant want to, wanting to join your guild. And if that participant is not joining because you refuse, then don't subtract emeralds from this player. This is uh, something that needs to be implemented. But anyways, I'm getting <laughs> all over the place. What I mean to say is sometimes you don't you don't find the players or the the wrong players join your guild and you don't want them you want something some other players some more different places but sometimes you cannot find those players and sometimes you have to recruit elsewhere you can go find in discord and try to invite other players in and sometimes all of those efforts go silent without without um any any uh, solution without any uh, uh without any gain for long extended periods of time sometimes days weeks months and so this was the problem as is the problem of any server i would say a little bit of stagnation difficulty in in trying to get new better talent when the old talent dies off let's say difficulty in um, maintaining the players motivated sometimes because the game changes rapidly or in the ways they don't want and then they get upset with it and um, I would say also before before the the um, the dungeon reformation difficulty in maintaining acceptable levels of daily titanite by me meaning acceptable levels of titanite i mean if you're not doing or if your players are not doing at least 65 titanite per day just before you open the next and i mean i mean you can try and sometimes you fail but i mean on a daily basis you're not even trying you're not even doing it you're not even opening dungeon you don't care about it i mean you might might not even be opening the guild tab <laughs> the guild the section so this part here if you're not opening these daily if you're not clicking in dungeon then you're not you're not cooperating with your guild okay so sometimes that's also the problem players don't do their their part with titanite and that leads to problems in terms of competitiveness and so with this that was our problem on our server difficulty attracting talent and difficulty a difficulty on some guilds not all having acceptable levels of titanite this is a, a, a common problem for many guilds in many servers and so 
we had this problem, but it was not the end of the world. I mean, I mean, two problems, but not the end of the world. Uh, for instance, for the the top four guilds, they were doing okay. I I don't think they even had problems. The to the, the the bottom three, we had problems, but it was, I mean, it was manageable. We were on decline but manageable every now and then another player joined and the situation kept in also every few months a, a, a guild jumped jumped in there were some mergers and players moved around and we would get some of these uh, leftover players and and then things were were okay ish at least for us maintainable for our guild maintainable not really bad getting on a decline but maintainable and so the point of this video is that why would a guild in the top in the top ranking of our server invite two other guilds of very respectable ranking in the top 200 300 into a server that is already crowded so we had Again, to, re to, re to remember and to reflash this, we had one very strong guild, top for for 40s. And then smaller, uh, not smaller, but full-sized guilds of uh, smaller, lower ranking, but still in the 200, 300s, 100s, and so on. Why bring another two guilds to our server, active server, 30 people each, okay, full guilds, in their top 200, 300s. Why? Okay, then on top of that, at the same time this happened a few weeks ago, we had the very unlucky uh, uh, chance of having a random guild, full guild, um, something like top 50 as well in CSW rankings join our server not cooperating with reward times not cooperating and talking with anybody going in the chat and put it nicely right in non latin alphabet that we westerners don't understand anything about it don't understand nothing about it and they write and they write and we don't know if they are complaining they are happy if they are saying good stuff bad stuff we have no idea we have no idea what they are talking about the standard language in the game is english as per developers as per knowledge base fandom as per things that are not translated because that's the default language and English I mean it's the universal for better or for worse it doesn't matter what everybody's opinions are on this for better or for worse English is the default language in the planet and so it's natural that the server chat is supposed to be English for the most part of it anyways <laughs> but then we had a full day Two days in a row, more days in a row, where half of the chat is now in a language from... It doesn't matter where, uh, East, Middle East. Could be my language, Portuguese. It doesn't matter. But a foreign language that 90% or, in this case, 99% maybe or 95% of the server doesn't understand. And you flood the channel and nobody understands it except those... 5%, 10% or whatever. So, flood a channel with nobody understands what. Guild that doesn't cooperate, attacks others on reward times, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't communicate. Another guild inviting two full guilds, 30 players each into the server. So now we have 90, 90. Okay, almost 100. Nine zero players joining a full server that is happy and active. And they only bring chaos with this. Because now, this happened in two weeks. 
And they only bring chaos with this because, you know, the other two guilds that joined, they eventually, after a few days, adjusted and they were sharing reward times, no problem. But the other one, you know, causing problems with reward times, that's a big problem. But then 90 players joining, what do you think happens in the competition? So, if they are strong enough, or let's say half of them are strong enough, that means they will take positions in the top ranking, right? And I will I will show this and I will have to censor this, but I will show this, okay? So we have here, you know, these, uh, these ones here, these ones here, these ones, this one, uh, this one not because this was already here, and so on. Literally, I mean, this is a a newer snapshot of course of right now when the consequences of this already happened but you can see here dungeon and all of this it's always the same always the same icons there right and um now that's clear because the consequences have happened, but before the consequences had happened, it wasn't so different because now basically all the guilds here are those guilds. But before that, we had our at least one third to half already. Because those players were so strong that they surpassed most people on the server already. So the guild that invited those two other guilds plus the other guild. So that's 30 times because the, the, the guild I invited was already in the top in the top of the server. So that's 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. Okay? 30 times 4. You guys know the answer? I will pick the calculator. Okay? 30 times 2, 60. 30, uh, 60 times 2, 120, right? Okay. 120 players. So what happens if you are let's not count with the first 30 because they were already here but what happens if you are let's say in the top 100 and then 90 players join and they are all stronger than you what happens you lower on your rankings 90 positions so you were on top 100 or whatever and now you are on top 190 200 or so. So that's one consequence for these ones here, the, uh, the hero power, possibly or most likely titan power, arena, grand arena, dungeon, okay? And almost surely then also, you know, this section here, the guild's activity and titanite, that will do the favor of censoring. So, consequences of this, you get less rewards, right, in the arena and the grand arena, so these things. And now you can, t again, you can, you can tell me something like, oh, okay, but I mean, that's just the way market goes. Well, that's just the way unregulated capitalism goes, okay, because this game turns us all into unregulated capitalists okay the, the kind of people not all of us but eventually some of us the kind of people that not by um maybe a little bit pissed off at this but not by um merit they get they get served faster better better rewarded than other players because they put money in it okay so let's translate this into reality okay i'm i suppose i'm i'm not but I, let's suppose i'm rich okay then i can i don't know pay for uh the the top one, two, three universities in my country and go there 
and work and study there then because i have loads of money i can afford uh, i can already afford the university but then i can afford additional years for a masters and then additional years for a doctor okay i can afford all that i don't need the state to sponsor me of my merit because in countries that do this if if i am good enough if i have merit then the state i might apply and the state might sponsor me and and pay all the tuition for all this and i don't have to pay anything or almost anything so instead of spending of my pocket and this I will compare to stories I've, I've heard from the United States. I don't have to spend 80,000 or 120,000, 150,000 dollars or euros or whatever coin to finish my education. Okay? Because if I'm good enough, the state will pay for me. Then if I don't have that chance because I'm not that good enough, okay, but I have money, I can buy my way and be in the top schools and finish and have the help and whatever and come out of this, all this education and have the paper showing that uh, I'm good, that I'm good, but maybe I suck, but because I have the money, I'm good. Then I can go in big jobs and maybe I develop contacts because I know contacts from having money in my family, in my parents and so on, having contacts I acquired in the, in, the, in the schools. And then I can go in the right jobs and get more money. Okay? So this is more or less what happens here in, in the game because you have good money, you can pay your way ahead and move on top of other players and push them out and then when you are pissed and upset or bored with your server you jump to another server and you ruin the game for other players and this is what I want to talk here okay so 90 players jump in and not saying they are bad bad guilds bad players bad persons that they are bullies or anything I'm just stating numbers. 90 players jump here in my server. They push back other 90 players if they are stronger than them. So in reality, what happened? They took over half of the top rankings in all the competitions in the first days. And besides the problems, besides... and. Let's just rewind a little bit. I'm sorry if you got offended a bit with, with what I talked about monies and and status and all of that, but this is the, the reality. This is the truth. And I'm sorry if this upsets you, but this is the truth. You can even you can either put a bag in your head and pretend nothing is happening, or you can remove the bag and wake up to reality. This is the reality. This is what happens. You know what? Some people have power. Power is money, okay? So getting back to our our statement here, these these players took the rankings of other players, and you can speak. Okay, that's just mar market flowing. Yeah, markets have sometimes regulations, and the regulation that should be in place here, and this is a message for Nexus as well, is you shouldn't have the possibility to jump to a server if for example, and this is because there's already a rule, the rule you cannot jump to a higher, higher ranked server unless recently changed to your original server. That's one argument. But there should be another argument, maybe replacing that. Because that, that argument is, is poor, that kind of condition is poor. Okay, The real condition that should be in place is is your total hero power three times, five times higher than the average 
top 100, top 200, top 300 in that server, is it? That you can't. That's the whole point that should be done. Then you can measure top 100, top 200, top... Depends. You know, I'm just throwing numbers, but... And two times, three times, five times, just throwing numbers. This is the real measure that should happen. They should come up with a formula and see activity levels, see power levels. Maybe take in consideration just, I don't know, maybe the, 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 the average power of the top six guilds, the six guilds in the gold league, something like that. Measure that, make up an average for each server, updated every week at least, and prevent players that are obscenely stronger from jumping to those servers. Period. Okay, that's one of the first thing. I, one of the first things that I want to take note. The second thing is I will question. Since there is no feature to move a guild to another server, instead players jump and then they recreate the guild and, and then they go through the qualifying league and bronze league, etc. So literally, there is no way of preventing an en masse number of players from jumping. That leaves us with um, morality and recommendations because that's all we can do. Because the, the rule that I already asked a few seconds ago, that's already detailed. That's not implemented, might not even get implemented ever. But then I make this the second argument here. Morality, okay? Why do you go ruin the other people's games? Why don't you look for a server that is empty? Why don't you go look for a server that has some of the slots in the gold league inactive? For example, there's so many so many so many uh, options there and I even have a, <laughs> a spreadsheet that I'll gladly share with some of you if you contact me privately not openly i don't want to attract attention to these servers but you know if you are having difficulty finding servers inactive servers i can provide some of you some to you okay but anyways why it's i mean one guild moving disputable Although we we already had one guild move one month before that caused one of the guilds to to be pushed back to 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 silver league yeah, this has been a recurring team then they regroup and then they go back to bro to to gold league so whatever but one guild was already joined a month a month before and then we had another guild randomly joining and we know they didn't join for good reasons. I wish I could could speak it differently, but this is the truth, okay? Because they came here to our server to harass one guild that jumped away from them here. And they followed because they wanted to, to keep fighting that guild so this is harassment bullying this is um i don't know like you, you guys you guys remember in your school your school days uh basic school days when you were i don't know 15 years old 14 years old there was this kid that was all the time picking on you attacking you making pranks Exploiting every chance they could to annoy you, upset you, try to hurt you, etc. Almost, almost. I mean, ju just I'm just throwing today so m so many statistics on uh, in the air, but I don't know. Maybe f maybe fifty percent of you had this problem as a kid. I had this problem. So I had this problem with a lot of kids. 
So, this guild comes in to fight specifically one guild to continuously harass this guild. And this is completely explained by their lack of cooperation, collaboration, ignoring reward times and all that. And even specifically, not like, oh, I want to fight now because, you know, I, I have to finish my, my uh, arena fights and get my rewards now because in 10 minutes they are, they are over. No, they specifically targeted the players of the other guild one, two, three minutes before their reward time in a time that these players who made the attacks should have been sleeping because in their country it's sleeping time but they logged in just to do this how weak is that? Huh? <laughs> not my guild my guild was not the target, but just, just to say, I know. So, morality question. Why the F would you do this? Ruin the server, attack the other guild, just... Why? Why? And, and this is just, you know, what is the, the problem of this? Too much money. Too much boredom. Too much pity lives. You don't have anything, anything interesting to do in your life, and you have to, you know, annoy people, upset people on the internet. That's 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 how your life is. Sorry for the rant, guys, but I mean, what are these people? You know, fifteen years old? Are they grown up? What well, they, they they surely have their wallets very fat because they spent. By th by the records, thousands of, of their currency in the in this game, okay. And this is not with merit, okay. So point one, nexters, you need to fix you need to fix this problem of of players jumping when their power levels are completely different than the guild than the the server they are joining with okay you need to address this not a question of higher lower servers you need to address power levels okay average power levels make up an a matrix the top six gold guilds or something like that point two please i beg all of you when you want to move a full guild to another server, join, please join a bunch of discords of other servers, all the servers you, you found interesting, and contact, and have at least five options, and contact the people in there and ask, hey, do you have room for another guild? Hey, can you fit 30 players in here and we can be all in gold league and you know, having fun and not upsetting anyone? Please, please do that. Don't do a move like a stunt like this because you know what was the consequence? I will tell you the consequence now at 33, 34 minutes mark of this video. The consequence was that all the native guilds except one have left the server. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and today my guild, or four guilds, leaving just one. If I'm no, not forgetting anything, okay. Result of this, I will show you the result of this. So we have here. We have here one guild that joined the last two or three weeks, the one that doesn't respect reward times, not surprisingly top one. We have on position three one guild 
that was already here and invited the other two guilds. The other two guilds are this one, position number two, and here in Silver League, position number 10, because they are moving up. Okay. And then we have two guilds, position number four and five, remaining of the original guilds. Position number five, my guild, moving out today. I mean, they already moved since Wednesday, and I'm the I'm the you know the captain of the boat. The boat sinks with me, so I'm moving today. And that's the result. Okay, four guilds moved out. Remaining sixth position is a uh, dead guild, mostly. I mean, I'm a, b a bit unfair on this. It's just not that active or strong they're not gold material and it's just not to upset anyone they, they, let me rephrase that we have on sil on on gold league we have titan teams of anywhere from 200 to 400,000 titan power mostly 280, 290, 300 Titan power. And hero teams ranging from 300 to 500,000, something like that. Most around 350, 400,000. Okay. And this guild here on position 6 and these other guilds here on Silver League, except the last one. They are mostly 100,000 Titans, 100,000 Heroes, or lower. So they, they're not, they're not uh, compatible at all. I mean, any, any of these um, two guilds here, mine and the other one, can, can beat them with a, a blind fold <laughs> it's just facts just power levels power level synergies so there's no competition and then the other guilds they're not competition either for us because they are so much stronger they're like two times stronger than us so what do we do here my guild fights the other guild, and that's the only interesting fights we have. So, why did players leave? Again, to recap. Loss of ranking. Their guilds either moved directly or were going to move in the, in the, in the next four weeks to Silver League. Most of them. And so, in result, loss of gold trophies, of blue trophies, so the CS double trophies. Loss of five players in the competition, so less rewards for five players, which drives further demotivation and inactivity. And um, just an overall feeling of revolt. <laughs> Something's wrong with this game on this level, even, for example, I mean, this is a purely capitalistic game. Upsets me to the bone. And I ex I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to do more videos about these topics in the future. Because these things need to be talked. It makes no sense that a player, regardless if they put money or not, Let's just let's just pretend they put money, okay? Player like me put puts they they have been playing for two two years and they put I don't know five hundred euros, five hundred dollars during those two years. And then comes a guy and puts seven seventy seventy thousand dollars or euros like some did for the titans artifacts and they put that much money 
in three months and they surpass you with a three month old account that makes no sense okay that makes no sense at all which leads me to my third point there should be weekly daily and monthly limits to how much money you should spend you should be able to spend in your country's currency adjusted to each each person's country or if not possible at least adjusted to the to the dollar or euro it's not not right because a lot of countries have devalued co coins compared to, to to euro and dollar but at least at least these ones but i know nexters will never do this because they are greedy they're greedy this is a company they want to make as much money as possible this is unregulated capitalism they want to make as much money as they can suck all, all the money from your your bones as much as they can because they can that's the 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 ending line of that they can put whatever price they want and players regardless of how, how unhappy they are of spending much money or you know being upset with new prices eventually some of those players will put the money because they can too because they can afford it but 90 percent of us cannot okay so i don't i'm not counting on this third one to to change but nexters you, i mean message for nexters and matches for all players out there nexters you need to limit moving to servers based on power levels message to to players and guilds out there you need to check you need to check the activity levels on the servers that you are considering join on their discords talk with the people and see if it's viable because the result of this it's a it's an, an example a full example it's a full example i'm gonna speak this in large screen this is a full example okay if you take things to the extreme then there's a possibility that you will ruin the game for everyone for the server for the entire server and the result of that is that now that can you guess what happens when four guilds move out because they can oh by the way we did not do the same thing as these guys did so we split our four guilds in two different servers and in, in the case of my guild i was only able to salvage about 15 players so not even a full guild but you can guess what happens when you take things to the extreme so players quit players move out and the result is that the server is dead is d e a d dead okay it's almost putrefacting there's no chance this server will recover unless those guilds make another month or more effort in inviting other guilds in there but then what guilds will want to move to a server where one of the guilds doesn't respect reward times and they uh, fill the chat with gibberish talk nobody understands what guilds will want to join a server where three of the guilds three you know one one two three three guilds when three of the guilds are basically one guild and they control the server it's a super server a super guild what guilds will want to move in there no one okay nobody in their in their right mind will want to move in this server so this server is that eventually what will happen is 
these guilds will be become affected I'm gonna switch back these guilds will become affected by activity issues in the long term because their players will be bored of doing stupid fights every every day with no competition whatsoever except for their own guilds and the one guild that doesn't cooperate that's the only competition they will have everything else pff, no competition they will get bored with that they will get bored with the arenas fighting their own guildmates so what's the result of that more players quitting more players becoming inactive the server is screwed and these guilds if they stay they are doomed they will need to move out and now my my personal recommendation to these guilds so the problem is already there the result is already there i'm not going to beat a dead horse although this video was a bit a bit like that but now you have to look into positive things that you can do after all has been said and done and so find a way to regroup elsewhere but look for a server that is inactive partially inactive not fully inactive and move the guilds there or split the guilds in other servers again okay always consider and check on discords don't repeat this because this just in, in, in i mean unless you want to ruin people's games and screw up maybe that's a way of doing some changes screwing up um, so much the servers that the players quit and in turn results in loss of revenue for nexters in a way that they see that they need to, ch to change something <laughs> but that's ironic right <laughs> they don't want to change things that will benefit players because it will cut on their revenue but uh, if they don't change things things get so screwed up that in the end they lose revenue ironic <laughs> well enough with my ranting this is such a long video I think I'm gonna do <laughs> a shorter video just to explain this in a summary please don't repeat these mistakes don't move your guilds into a place that is already crowded it will just screw up the whole server so with that, I'll leave you all and have a great weekend. Bye bye. Much love to everyone, even to these guilds who screwed up our server. All of you, we all forgive you. Bye bye. <laughs>